Hello everyone. Welcome back to AITechone.com, your go-to channel for all the things tech, whether it is Salesforce, machine learning, Python, or data visualization. My name is Sumit, and today we will dive into some exciting uh, topic. And uh, today we will diving into how to import and export the data using the Salesforce CLI. Whether you are a Salesforce admin or a developer, the CLI is a powerful tool to streamline your data operations. Uh, before we begin, before we start today's session, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. So what exactly Salesforce CLI means? So you might have gone through my previous chat, uh, previous topics, previous videos, where I've explained about how do we set up an environment for uh, Lightning Web Component. And there we have discussed about Salesforce CLI. But just for your quick reference, let me uh, quickly give you a walkthrough what Salesforce CLI is. So Salesforce CLI, also known as SMDX, it's a command line tool that lets you interact with your Salesforce org from creating scratch orgs to, main, to managing the metadata and automating processes. And it's designed to speed up your workflow. And using CLI, not only we can set up Lightning Web Components or Apex classes, but using CLI, we can uh, import and export the data from and onto an org. So basically, the idea behind today's video is that how do we expo export the data from one Salesforce org and then move that data onto a different Salesforce org using Salesforce CLR. You might have used the various techniques in order to migrate the data from one Salesforce org to another. This could be one of them. And uh, as on demand, as on required, you can use this as well. So the very first step here is we will need to set up and install Salesforce CLI if you haven't done. In my case, I have already installed Salesforce CLI on my system. So in my system, Salesforce CLI is already installed and tested. So now uh, let me switch to my Visual Studio code or let me tell you the exact uh, functionality, exact scenario. So, so the business requirement is like this. As you can see, this is one of my Salesforce org. On, I will call this as a target org. And in this target org, there is a contact object, but we don't have any contacts in this object. So it's a blank object where we don't have any contacts. And at the same time, I got another contact. Basically, I got another object, another Salesforce instance with, this, uh, with contact object. And in this, we got contact object with uh, with almost 22 items so my business requirement is i would like to export the data from this salesforce org using salesforce cli uh, will uh, uh, whenever we export our data using salesforce cli it will generate a json file and we will use that json file in order to move the data on another instance so how are we going to do this let's begin this and for this, first of all, let me switch back to my Visual Studio code. This is my Visual Studio code. And in this Visual Studio code, I am, I mean, I've successfully uh, connected to my instance. So my, uh, so I've already success, successfully connected to my source org. And the source org is this one, SFDC uh, AM project one. And this one is mapped with SFDC batch 455 at gmail.com. This is the one which I will be going to use. Let me show you this one. So I'll quickly navigate to setup and, and uh, yeah. And look for users. Users. Or I can check from here also. We have this, so we can say, uh, okay, so we have to reload that, fine. Users, and as you can see, sfbc batch 455 at the rate gmail.com. So this will be my source org. And I would like to move this information to my target org. And my target org will be this. 
where the username will be sfdc as well. I'll show you this to you uh, to you. And here my target org will be sfdc batch four five two at gmail dot com. So basically, I would like to move the data from one Salesforce org to another by using Salesforce ELI. And I am, I mean, I, I've successfully connected to my org right now. As you can see, I've already connected. I've already connected to my org SFDC, and this one is referring to. Uh, let's have a look here. Yes, this one. Yes, and uh, yeah, this one successfully mapped with SFDC batch. Uh, here SMDC batch four five four five. So this one is the target one four five. Got it, everyone? So four five five is the source one, and four five two will be my target one. So now let's have a look. How do we do this? So first of all, here in terminal, I'll just open a terminal here, and in this terminal, I need to pass a command. So what command I should pass? And whenever you launch your terminal, and if you feel like that the terminal already contains few statements, so you have to clear the statements, which will help you to, uh, which will give you a, a clear view or clear picture of. So now here I need to type a command, and what the command is? The command I'm going to type here is sf data export tree and let's say hyphen h h is for help when i pass this command i will get an update here see this sfdc export data from an org into one or more json file that's the purpose of this command it will export the data from an org into one or more json files and uh, the user sfdc data export tree and here we have the we have the flags, the different flags, the target or output directory plan queries. I just wanted to query the data. I just want to uh, I just want to query data from an object. So I'm going to write a query here. And how uh, how do I write a query? Let's have a look. SF. So I'll just write the statement again. SF data export tree hyphen hyphen query hyphen hyphen query and here we have to write a query so i just write select first name comma last name comma phone from contact phone from contact phone from contact i'm going to run this query and as soon as i run this query when this query get executed successfully it will try uh, basically as you can see wrote 22 records to contact.json file so on left side uh, under the explorer you can see a contact.json file has been created and when you open this contact.json file you can see the, all the records their first name last name and phone so basically this is a json file now, okay, so what we have done, we have successfully exported the data from one Salesforce org and, and export all the records from the contact object into contact.json file. Now what, now it's time to move the data, uh, now it's time to move the data from, uh, from this JSON to the target org. And for this, again, I open terminal. And in this terminal, I just write SF data import tree. And let's say help. So when we say data import tree, so what is the purpose of this data import? As you can see, the purpose of this data import means it, it will import the data from one or more JSON file into an org. That means it will read the data from the JSON file and move the data into an org. And for this, we need to use the files and also we need to set the target on. So how are we going to do this? What's the command? Uh, so the command will be like this. SF data import tree 
Now I need to read the files. So files, we are here, files. Files, and the file name is contact.json. Contact.json. And we need to set the target org. So I just copy this target org. I just copy this, paste it here. Now here we need to set the target org. And the target org means where we would like to move this data. I want to move the data to this SFDC batch 452 because this contract does not contain any record. Okay, SFDC batch 452. And here, if I just check the SFDC batch 452, the target org is SFDC batch 452. That's my target org name. So as you can see, the target org name is SFDC all small B's capital batch 452. So this target org name we have to define, define here, SFDC batch 452. Be very careful with the target org name. So my target org name is connect, connect, uh, correct here, 452. And now let's hit the enter and test it. So I'm going to hit the enter and uh, 452 and hit enter. And when I hit enter, as you can see the process initiated, import result, reference ID type, contact, a new contact has been created, contact reference 1, 22 records were there in the JSON file. So all these 22 records have been imported successfully in the target org. So let's go and check. Here is the target org with 452. And when I refresh here, you can see the contacts added successfully, the contacts imported successfully. That's the way we can move the records from one Salesforce or to another Salesforce or by using Salesforce CLI. Uh, there are few inputs and uh, you can say the best practices and the text before you start this process. Always back up your data before making any changes. Number one, test in a sandbox or a stretch org before updating the production data. And use the dash arg flag to get results in a different format such as a JSON or CSV. Now, this that's it today. Uh, that's it for the today's tutorial. The Salesforce CLI makes importing and exporting data easy and efficient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Salesforce tips and tricks. That's all for the day. Have a nice day, everyone. Keep watching. Goodbye.